working through all the free video tutorials for the Bernina L890. And this is one of the sergers that comes with a handheld needle threader. Now I am actually thrilled that this is separate and not a built on board needle threader. Sometimes people don't get those fully lined up, the needle threader bends, then they have to actually take the whole machine in to get it adjusted, where a handheld needle threader means you've always got it at your fingertips and it is super easy to use. Plus, if you ever need help with threading your needle on your sewing machine, you can take this little guy over to your sewing machine or we'll have links below where you can buy an extra one or two for your sewing room and have those included. So what you're gonna find with this is there's kind of like a little plunger and there's a small little kind of tongue, a metal tongue that's going to run down the front of the needle. Now, if you're not familiar with how a needle is made, there's a groove on the front. You can kind of feel it with your finger. So I'm doing it right now without any thread in the right location. So as I push in, slide down, it will plunge that little tongue into the eye and let us pull the loop from behind. If you have a serger with your presser foot up, you can always lower it for a little extra room. I've also kind of removed the upper looper by twisting the hand wheel and kind of moving it out of the way. So if it's kind of in your line of sight, you can slide it to the side a little bit. Next, the needle threader has a mark on the top, an arrow, so that always needs to be on top. You can have it 180 degrees, and there's another arrow. So one of those arrows facing up means you are holding it correctly. Next, the thread needs to be placed kind of in his mouth. I always describe it as like putting the thread in a horse's mouth, like a bridle. So it goes side to side. So as you see it, it's kind of laying there. And I just need enough thread kind of off to each side that when I start about halfway up the needle and push straight on till I kind of feel that little tongue in the groove, slide gently down until it falls into the eye and then just bring it gently out, leaving that loop of thread. Now this needle threader actually has a little hook on the end, allowing me to just reach behind the needle and pull that loop all the way through. So let's do that one more time. So it's a little, so you can see it in one motion. Find the arrow, place the thread crosswise, put the needle threader halfway in until the tongue sits in the groove, plunge it in, and pull it through. If for any reason your little tongue gets bent, you can always kind of kind of slide it back and kind of straighten it out. And before you know it, you'll be back on track threading each needle in no time flat. On a bonus part, on the opposite end, there is a needle inserting holder. So you can place the needle in there, lift it up and um, hold, get it to go back in. Or when you're loosening it, it'll catch it. I do love that it's gonna have a flat side on the back. So as you go to put a needle in the serger, you could put it down and it won't spin. It'll keep the flat side to the back, allowing you to easily lift it up all the way to the highest position and tighten that screw so it is perfectly placed. And you don't have to get your fingers all the way underneath your serger. Once again, a perfect tool for any and all your machines.